Hey, it's Paul Ingram with Collie Center. In today's training, I'm gonna be showing you six footwork methods that you need to know when it comes to training in Kali or Filipino martial arts. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click that thumbs up button if you agree that footwork is absolutely one of the most essential skills that you need to have in your Kali. And let's get to the training. Our first method of footwork that we're gonna be taking a look at this is our segmented type of footwork, meaning that we're moving on one line, one segment. And there's a couple different uh, names for this footwork. Some styles or systems will call this like broken footwork. Other styles of martial arts will call this like a step and slide. A lot of different names and it's a very common footwork across uh, all the different genres of martial arts. So from here we're starting off in our right lead position because if we're using the weapon, we primarily want that weapon to be out in front. From here, we're going to step forward with the right foot, bring that rear foot up, and again, and then two steps back. One, two. If we need more momentum, more boost into this footwork, we're gonna lift this lead leg, we're gonna pump that lead leg to generate some momentum so we can really take a much bigger step and then make sure we're going all the way back. Typically, when I train this solo, I've got two collie sticks on the ground, 28 inch collie sticks, and we wanna make sure that we are making, taking up at least two lengths collie sticks, one, two, and back. Now when we're training these types of footwork, we wanna also make sure that we can control the percentage of the pacing. So this is pretty much about the maximum that we wanna be able to take up, and then both forward and back. But sometimes we need to go shorter steps Sometimes we need to go short and then long, short and long back, or we need to go a long step and a short step. So you gotta vary the different percentages of how much range are you actually taking when you are working in your segmented footwork. All right, so let's go ahead and drill this out, get a few different angles of it. Second method of footwork is our reverse triangle. This is where we're standing at the apex of the triangle and we're moving out on a 45 degrees to the base. Whether we're moving 45 degrees to the left or 45 degrees to the right. When it comes to our triangle footwork, we have two basic variations. The first one is our open variation. We're gonna step left 45, bringing the feet together at the base, bring it back and then right 45 again trailing that rear leg up to the base. When we're working the basics of a reverse triangle, when we go to the left, the left foot initiates. Right foot then travels behind the left foot. When we come to the right, our right foot initiates and the left foot will then travel behind the right. Okay, so we're always working in that same side foot is going to initiate the step to the same side that we're stepping to, okay? And notice how it reverses on the way back. So once I go left 45, left foot is stepping forward, now I'm going reverse to the right, so my right foot is going to initiate and opposite to the right. Right foot moving forward initiates, left foot moving back, because now I'm moving back to the left, back to the apex of the triangle, so my left leg initiates on the way back. We have one, two, left 45 and right 45, right there. Boom and boom, boom and boom. The second variation of reverse triangle is where we close the triangle. So we step left 45, step all the way across the base, bring it back. And then we're just working around the triangle, initiating going to the left. Boom, 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 boom. You put a few reps in going to the left, and then you also want to make sure that you get those reps in going in to the right. Bop. Boom and boom. Let's take a look at the reverse triangle footwork from multiple angles.
The third footwork that we have that is absolutely essential when you're training Kali or Filipino martial arts is our forward triangle. Just like the reverse triangle, we have two different methods of the forward triangle. Uh, this time, we're going to be starting at the base of the triangle and we're going to be moving into the apex or back into the center line of our opponent. So from here, we have the open forward triangle first. I'm stepping to the right, so that means my right foot initiates. I step into the apex, and just for the drill, my feet come together, and then I step back out to the opposite corner, the opposite base. Now I'm going into the left, so I step with the left foot first, stepping into the apex. I do a quick replacement step, and then bring this back out to the starting point on the base of the forward triangle. So we have one and two. In on the left, out on the left. In on the right, out to the right. So we work this out on our open four triangle. Boom, boom. Very important that we wanna be, again, just like in footwork method number one, we wanna make sure that we're taking up that range of the stick. That's why we map it out with the sticks first. We want the range of the stick. All the way in, all the way out. All the way in, all the way out. All right, that's our open forward triangle. Then we have the same principle where we can close the triangle. We step into the apex, bring it back out, and then stepping across the base to close that forward triangle. And we can work it out right here, going around the triangle in one direction. Rep that out, and then make sure to switch your directions. So that way you can maneuver the footwork in both directions. All right, let's take a look at four triangle from multiple angles. fourth essential method of footwork that we have to look at when it comes to our Kali training is what's called our ranging star or ranging angles. And these are the six degrees that we have to step in order to get off of the center line. So from here, we're starting off at that apex, kind of right in the middle of this star. And we have our left 45 step, we have our right 45, we have our 90 degrees to the left, our 90 degrees to the right, our reverse to the left, and our reverse to the right. All right, so again, we have left 45, right 45, 90, 90 to the right, reverse to the left, reverse to the right. Again, following the same basic principle, when we go to the left, the left foot will lead, initiate the steps on all left angles. Going to the right, the right foot will initiate the step on all of the right angles, okay? So we're gonna work this out. Let's take a look at the ranging star from multiple angles. method of footwork that is absolutely essential to your Kali training, your Kali practice, and your skill development is the diamond. So when we look at the diamond, this is made up by connecting the reverse triangle and the forward triangle together at the bases. So from here, we're going to step off left 45 up the reverse triangle, right 45 on the forward triangle. We're coming back to the right and then back to the left. 
Again, making sure that when we move to the left, the left foot initiates. When we move to the right, the right foot initiates. Okay, now I'm moving back to the right. So which foot initiates? The right leg. Moving back to the left, so of course the left foot is going to initiate. So we wanna make sure that we can work this out, starting nice and slow, and then gradually be picking up the speed and gradually be picking up the energy and the intensity right here. Once we can maneuver this going around the diamond to the left, make sure you also train it being able to maneuver around the diamond to the right. Very important that we can move in both directions. All right. So let's go ahead, take a look at the diamond in training from multiple angles. of method essential to your collie training, your skill development, and the ability to apply collie is what we refer to as the hourglass. From here, we're going to step 90 degrees to the left. We're gonna double shuffle up the four triangle. One, two, so now we're adding in, we're combining some triangle footwork with the first footwork method. Then we're gonna step across the left again and double shuffle it back ending in that start position. So again, stepping to the left, double shuffle it up, bring it across the left, double shuffle it back. So we're adding in, connecting that four triangle or all the triangle footworks, and then also connecting that first method of footwork, that broken or that step and slide, that segmented footwork, where we need to double shuffle up one angle of the ranging star. All right, so from here, we're gonna work it out, making sure that we are going to the left right there. Boom, after we work this out for some reps, once again, make sure that you can also perform the hourglass initiating to the right. Boom, boom, here and back. To the right, shuffle it up, to the right, and shuffle it back. Let's take a look at the hourglass footwork Again, from multiple angles. Now it's your turn, get out there, go train your footwork. Go put time and reps into these six essential methods of collie footwork. Look, the footwork will protect you. The weapon may protect you, it might protect you, but good footwork absolutely will protect you. It will keep you in safe positions, or at least safer positions. This is absolutely critical when we look at the martial arts of Kali because we are a blade fighting system, because we are dealing with weaponry which is traveling very, very fast. The tip of this weapon can easily start reaching speeds of around 130 to 160 miles per hour, even in the hands of an untrained person. So footwork is absolutely critical because in Kali, when you're looking at edged weapons, you got one mistake. You're gonna make one mistake, especially when you're looking at something like a bolo, one shot to the hand, and the hand is not damaged. It's gone, it's been removed. If you are training this stuff in the mindset of combat or self-defense, it's not like our regular sparring that we do in class. It's not like our flow sparring or our full contact sparring. In reality, you cannot get hit. All right? In sparring, it's fun, we get hit all the time, we hit each other, it's great, it's a great time. 
But if you are in the mindset, again, of combat or self-defense, you know, you cannot get hit, especially when you have to start dealing with multiple opponents, which is really what the specialty of Kali really is. Close quarter fighting against multiple opponents. So footwork is gonna be absolutely critical. So train your footwork, train it diligently, train it with deliberation every single day, even if it's just a little bit, you know, 15 minutes focusing on one of these methods of footwork. And then Monday through Saturday, just break up these different methods of footwork and have one day be a focus of one method of footwork. And then on Sunday, you can start to blend these footworks together and kind of do like a Carenza round where you can start working in and out seamlessly transitioning from footwork method to footwork method. Put this into your training and I guarantee you that sooner than later, your Kali skills are going to shoot up, they're gonna ramp up and you're gonna be performing at the next level. If you like this training in the footwork, in the Kali, go ahead and thrust that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna take your Kali training with us here at Kali Center to the next level, head over to KaliCenter.com and check out our Inner Triangle training program where you could become a member of Kali Center, an official student of Kali Center, and then you could train directly through our curriculum. We also have a lot of other great training courses, DVD downloads, a lot of great training material over there if you know, being a member of Kali Center is not your thing, but you still wanna train a lot of the material that we offer here at Kali Center. Also click the join button right below this video and check out becoming a sponsor to our channel where when you're a sponsor, you get access to our members area only on our channel here and you get exclusive videos, training videos, training tips, insights, all kinds of really cool exclusive content that is here on the channel but only available for our sponsors. All right guys, get out there, go train, train outside, change up the environment, change up the terrain and go have fun, go challenge yourself, but most importantly, have fun. If you slip, if you trip, if you fall down while you're training your footwork, it happens to the best of us sometimes. Just keep training, that way your body can learn the coordination, it can learn the balance, it can develop the strength and the fine muscle fibers all in the legs and connecting everything that needs to be connected to enhance that coordination, agility, speed, power, all that stuff that is absolutely essential attributes to Kali. All right, enough, you guys get the point. Go train, I'll see you next time.